I know how overwhelming it must be trying to get a new clipper nowadays just because I feel like every company is releasing new clippers like literally weekly. So my idea with this video is to show you guys what I would buy if I was on the market for a new clipper. I'm gonna show you my three favorite clippers of this year that I know for a fact if you buy these clippers, you will be extremely, extremely happy with them. If you like to learn more about my opinion on the best clippers of 2022, then go ahead and stick around. What's up guys, my name is David Fala, welcome to my channel and on today's video we're going to talk about the three clippers that I know for a fact are the best clippers on the market, at least in my opinion, and if I was on the market for a new clipper, this will be the clippers that I would consider. First one, we're going to start with number three. We're going to start with number three. This is a clipper that I love. I completely love this clipper. And it's been a clipper that I think many of us waited so long to get like an updated version, but now it's here. And I know all those that have bought this clipper are super happy with it. And you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the clipper that I used to always recommend for beginners. We are talking about the one and only, the Magic Clip. This is an amazing clipper. I think Wall really did something incredible with this clipper. The Magic Clip has been, I think, the number one clipper on the market for many years. And within reason, this clipper is amazing at fading. It was amazing at creating those super smooth fades because of the stagger plate that it had. And uh, I think the only thing that was missing it was having a little bit more power, right? I think at the time when it released, I think it was great, but over years, I think it was like seven years or so that we were waiting for an updated version you know other clippers started making other companies started making great clippers and clippers became really good really powerful better battery better everything so wall needed to do something and I, th I think they did this is a great clipper I did a review about this clipper I'm gonna leave right here in the, in the screen I'm gonna leave the link and also in the description you can see the review it's light but it's not too light that it feels like a toy it actually has a little bit of weight to it that I like uh, I think wall makes some of the most comfortable clippers on the market. I had never had a problem with any wall clipper that doesn't feel comfortable in my hand. I think this is an awesome clipper. It still has the stagger blade, which is, is a great blade. It's, I think it's the best blade to, for fading. And this is something that wall did a great job with it. Um, this, is a, this is the gold version. And that was one of the things that I personally didn't like just because I think that a market so oversaturated with gold clippers. But again, that's a personal preference. And it has more power. This is a bigger, this is a stronger motor with more RPMs than the previous version. So it's a lot better to remove bulk. It feeds the hair very nicely. So this is definitely an upgrade. I think if you are in the market to buy a wool clipper, you are a wool fanatic and you like wool clippers, this is the one that I will buy. I wouldn't buy the seniors. I definitely wouldn't buy the legend. I would. This is the one that I will buy. I think this is the best clipper that Wall has released in many, many years. So this is my number three option for this year of the best releases of 2022. Okay, now we are going to talk about the number two. The second option that I will recommend all of you, and this is this is very hard. It was very hard to pick between number one, number two, because this clipper is a clipper that I've been using for so long at the shop. I think uh, it's honestly, uh, wow, it's an incredible clipper. It has power. It has all the power that you can ask for. Uh, and this little machine is super light, very comfortable as well. Like the wall, you can tell that it shares a lot of a lot of the the style that wall has, and it has a very particular blade that is honestly one of my favorite blades right now. So you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one and only the Stylecraft Rebel. Honestly, what a clipper! I think Stylecraft and Gamma are really just doing what other companies are not doing is that they innovate and I know they release a lot of clippers all the time but honestly the clippers get better and better and better every time they release a new clipper and this is not exception in my opinion all the clippers are incredible because they really are and especially the only innovation and the technology they put on them but this one this one is the one that I really like why do I like this clipper so much it has Power. When I tell you it has power, I never had a problem trying to remove hair and that this clipper couldn't do it, right? I try all the clippers and sometimes they will get stuck and the hair wouldn't fit correctly with this clipper, never a problem. That's the one number one thing that I like. It's also, it's good for fading. I wouldn't say it's the best for fading, but it definitely is a good clipper for fading, especially if you know how to use it. And I think one of the main reasons is because it cuts the hair like fully, it just, you know, it doesn't, doesn't get stuck with the hair, but also the blade. So this has 
a special blade. The special blade is actually the fusion blade or the vapor that they call it now, right? And this blade, why is this blade great? This blade is great because what it does is that it's kind of like a combination between a fade blade and a taper blade. For me, I love taper blades, but I also know the, the, the importance of a fade blade. So this is definitely my number second choice. It could be my first. Honestly, this clipper is amazing and literally is what I use at the shop. Also, other, other thing that I really like is the clickiness. It has a little clicky lever, and that's something that I really love about clippers nowadays. I hope all clippers had that, especially if you are a beginner, you really, really want a, a clipper that has the clicky uh, lever because it allows you to put the, the lever in the position that you want and go step by step. So this is literally a game changer. So if you are in the market for a new clipper, you want to try something different, you want only one clipper, one clipper that does it all, this is the one. This is the one that I recommend, the Stylecraft Rebel. Also, if you are interested in getting any of the clippers that I'm mentioning here in this video, in the description, I'm gonna leave the discount code for the website of the clipper. That will save you some money. Or if not, if you wanna get it from Amazon, I'm gonna leave an affiliate link that right there too, so you can buy it from Amazon. And now we are gonna talk about the number one clipper. And how I said, the Rebel could have been number one because it was a hard decision trying to decide which one was better. But you know, we always have to pick one and I'm gonna pick this one just because I've been using it since I got it and I'm in love with it. Uh, and I honestly never thought I was gonna like this clipper that much, but I really do. And you know, if you follow me, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the new limited edition Boost FX uh, Babyliss. It's a Babyliss clipper and I love this clipper. Honestly, I have, I've been using the Rebel and I still do. I still keep both of this in my station just because they serve different purposes for me at least. Uh, but if I was only gonna pick one clipper right now, it would be either the Rebel or this one, right? Why do I put this one first right now? Uh, honestly, it was just a decision of like what I like more at the moment. And I love this clipper. I also made a review about it. If you guys wanna see, I'm gonna leave the link in the description as well. And this is a clipper in which I fell in love with it. I didn't think I was gonna like it just because I tried the previous version and I wasn't too much of a fan of them. But this one is awesome. So some of the things that I like about this one, it has a good weight to it. I personally don't like clippers that are too light just because they feel like toys. I like to have a little weight to it. Um, one thing I didn't like about this clipper before, it was the shape, right? And the shape now is better because it's the same shape, but now it has this texture, um, like grip, and it definitely makes it so much easier to be able to hold the clipper uh, very, very loosely, how I like to guard my clippers. So that was great. It also has the clicky lever, which I really like a lot. And the blade, the blade. This blade is actually pretty, pretty good. This is the wedge blade from Babyliss, and it's a great blade. I actually enjoy a lot fading with it. Uh, one thing that I have noticed is that it doesn't have the same power as the Rebel. So sometimes when I'm trying to remove bulk, uh, it doesn't do it the best as the Rebel, right? But uh, for fading, I think this is superior and I really, really like using it. I said like it was a very difficult decision to make, uh, to take which one was first or second. But I definitely think that if you buy this clipper and you're a fan of Babyliss, then the Boost Plus is definitely gonna be uh, the one that you're gonna pick and you're gonna be extremely happy with it. If you are looking for something different, then you can look at the Stylecraft Rebel because also that will be an uh, incredible clipper for you. And if you are a wall uh, guy, then, then the Magic Clip, uh, the new one, the gold one, will be the one for you. And I know there's other companies out there, but honestly, like I think these are the three best clipper companies right now in the market, the ones that are actually trying to do something different, uh, especially Babyliss and, and Gamma Stylecraft. They're actually trying to innovate and trying to bring something different to the market. And honestly, we as barbers, we have to support that. So that's the video for today, guys. Let me know on the comments what clippers you guys use or if, what clippers do you recommend. Maybe there's a clipper out there that I haven't used yet and I would love to, to to try it. So if that's the case, please leave it in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. I'm also gonna be doing a video about the best trimmers of this year. So if you're interested in watching that, don't forget to subscribe and like it so you don't miss when that video drops. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.